Hey, you're having a celebration for your son, aren't you? And apparently, you're going to Disneyland? How did you know? I've only told a few of my friends. I just happened to hear it from one of them. I'm so jealous. I want to go to Disneyland too. Why don't you just go on your day off? My son is starting middle school next year, but he loves going to Disneyland. It's not like your kids hate Disneyland, right? No, but going to Disneyland is not cheap, you know? Unlike you, I'm still young, so I can't be spending too much money on my kids. Because you know, I need money to enjoy wearing makeup and dresses. What? Are you saying I'm too old to dress up? No, I didn't say that. Stop being so paranoid. But the way you just said that sounds like you were making fun of my age. Anyone would think so, if they heard you say that. I told you, it's just your imagination. In any case, that's why we don't have enough money to go to Disneyland. You should try saving up and take your kids to Disneyland. They'd love it. Well, if you think my kids would love it, then take my family to Disneyland with you. I know you have a lot saved up. Don't be ridiculous. If you want to go to Disneyland, then go on your own. I told you, we can't afford it. Oh, come on, don't be so stingy. Wait a minute. You plan to take along with us, and yet you have no money? Are you thinking of making my family pay for your trip? I don't want to do that. You have enough money for two families. Money isn't meant to be shared. If you're coming with us, you better come up with your own money. Otherwise, you can't come. Wow, what a stingy bitch you are. Don't call me names. You deserve to be called that. How can you be so heartless not helping those in need? Money and friends don't mix. See? That's what I mean. You're stingy. Whatever, I don't want to talk with you anymore. Fine, bye. On the day of the Disneyland trip. Oh my god, that was such a fun ride. A fun ride? What are you talking about? We're here! We're at Disneyland! I just have one favor to ask you though. I forgot to bring cash. Can you spot me like $3,000? We're home. That was a fun trip. Oh? Oops, I just got out of the car and texted you without reading what you said. Oh, you're at Disneyland? Yes, we are! What do you mean you're home? It means I just walked in the door. We went to Disneyland and now we're back. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were going to Disneyland today. Oh, did I tell you that? We left for the trip the day before yesterday. What? The day before yesterday? Yeah, we left the house right after my husband got home from work. Of course, my husband was so tired on the first day that he slept in the hotel most of the time. But our son was so excited about the trip that my husband drove us there, even though it was the end of his workday. Hey! Yeah? Do you want to maybe come back to Disneyland? Like, right now? Nah, I've had enough of Disneyland for a while. We had so much fun, my son seems very happy too. Yeah, but maybe you can have more fun if you come back. And since you'll be back, you can lend me $3,000. I'm not lending you $3,000. I'm sorry you left your money at home, but I don't think lending you money is a good idea. Oh, come on, we can't even go home now. My kids are with me too. Don't you feel sorry for them? Huh, that makes no sense. What makes no sense? You said you forgot to bring money, then how did you get to Disneyland? What? You don't have any money on you, right? I mean, you were so desperate that you tried to borrow from me, so I figured you were really broke. I, uh, I had enough money for our family to take the train. I just forgot the $3,000 I had set aside for the trip. At home, not at the bank? No, we don't keep much money in the bank. So you get it now, right? I need your money. You said your kids are with you. What about your husband? Oh, my husband is home. Well then, just have your husband transfer the money to you when you're all set. Or ask him to bring the money to you. My husband's usually not home, so he has no idea where the money is. Oh, he's so useless. What am I going to do with him? <laughs> but you have the money at home, right? Of course, I've put aside money for this day. Do you think I'm lying about the money? Um, well, it just sounds strange that your husband can't find the money, especially if it's that much. Anyway, just call him and ask him to bring you the money. I told you I can't. My husband has no idea where things are in our house. There's no way he can find it. I'll just be wasting my time calling him, so just lend me the money. Who knows, maybe he can find the money. Give him a call and see. I think you have more chance of getting your money if you ask your husband than trying to convince me. I mean, you said you have the money at home. Well, yeah, but... In any case, I'm surprised that you were actually able to save up money for this Disneyland trip. You told me it's too much for you. I can save up money when I have to. I'm a responsible person. I just can't believe I forgot to bring the money. Damn it! I can pay you back when I get home. Just bought me some money and we're all good here. 
I don't have that much money. Besides, like I said earlier, I'm already home. I'm not going all the way back to Disneyland now. You don't have to stay here. All you have to do is give us the money. You could leave your house now. Why would I go to Disneyland just to lend you money? It makes no sense. My kids are waiting. Or do you not care about children in trouble? I do care about your kids, but I won't lie to them and tell them I'd help when I actually can't. And who in their right mind would just lend you $3,000 just because you asked them? It's not like you're doing anything worthwhile with that money, so come on! I feel bad for my kids. They came all the way here to Disneyland with no money. I do feel bad for them too, but it's your fault for forgetting the money. Don't take it out on me just because I can't help you. But what else can I do? That's not my problem. Don't blame me for that. All right, all right. I'll apologize. I'm sorry. Are you happy now? Now that I've expressed my apology, will you please lend me some money? Why? Let me just tell you that no matter what you say or do, I will not lend you any money. Why not? Are you saying you don't care if my kids are left behind at Disneyland? No, I'm not. Calm down for a minute. Call your husband first. No, I can't. Calling him won't help. Serenity, please. Please lend me some money. Um, to be completely honest with you, I don't have any more money. Huh? What do you mean? As a matter of fact, we spent quite a bit at Disneyland. We didn't want to be stingy on our celebration trip, you know? So I think we ended up spending about $5,000, including the hotel and other expenses. So I don't have any money to lend you anyway. I'm sorry. No! What are we going to do then? We're already at Disneyland! We can't even go home! Well, we wanted to enjoy our trip, so we saved up a lot, but we spent it all. So, yeah. Sorry, but I can't help you. I guess you'll just have to ask your husband to help you now. No! But you said you have money at home, right? Then why don't you just ask him to find the money and bring it to you? Um, actually, I was lying. Lying? What do you mean? I lied about having the money for the trip. I thought you would feel more comfortable lending me your money if I told you that. Huh? You mean you don't have $3,000 at home? Um, no. So then, you were counting on me to pay for you all along? Um, yeah? Oh my god, I'm speechless. You feel bad for your kids? That's a bunch of BS. You're the one who brought them into this. I just thought you'd lend me your money if I said that. I wanted to go to Disneyland too, but we couldn't afford the trip. I didn't have a choice. What do you mean you didn't have a choice? I was trying to be nice listening to your stories, but I guess that was for nothing. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I have no intention of helping you at all. Perhaps you should call your relatives to come pick you up. I can't do that. My husband will yell at me if he finds out. It's your fault. If I was your husband, I'd get so sick of you that I wouldn't even want to talk to you anymore. That wouldn't be good. Please, Serenity, please help me. You can forget about the money then. Just come pick us up. You still expect me to do that after you tried to make me pay for your trip? Get real, Valentina. I told you, I'm sorry. Isn't that enough? No, it's not. You were never going to pay me back. That was your plan all along, wasn't it? Well, why would I need to help someone like that? You brought this on yourself. You handle it. Don't say that. What about my kids? They'll be stuck here without your help. How could you be so mean to kids? What kind of a mother are you, you cruel bitch? Wow, or I'd like to say exactly the same thing back to you. What did you even tell your kids when you brought them there? I told them that we were going to Disneyland. But you said so knowing that you had no money. So basically, you were lying to your kids. It's crazy that you left the house without enough money for your return trip, let alone the entrance fee. You did all that, and then you have the nerve to talk shit about me? What kind of person are you? A devil? Rich people like you will never understand what the poor have to go through. I deserve to have fun too. That's why I'm begging you. In other words, you used your kids so that you could have fun. Well, what kind of mother does that? Shut up! Just bring me your money. My husband can't find out about this. You know what I'm talking about, right? Um, no. People usually don't do anything this stupid. I couldn't care less if you get mad at me. I guess you'll just have to stay here since I can't help you. You could at least come pick us up. No, I have to get things ready for tomorrow. If you're that desperate, I could call the police to have him pick you up if you want. That would not go well at all with my husband. Well, you'd better figure something out then. All right, I still need to unpack and do things, so I have to go now. Bye. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. Epilogue. Valentina gave up and ended up calling her husband. Not knowing what was going on, her husband completely lost it over the phone. She somehow managed to get him to pay for the return trip, 
but her sincere husband was so disappointed in her that he decided to wait for her at home with the divorce papers filled out. Valentina was a full-time housewife, meaning she wouldn't be able to support herself if he divorced her. She apologized and cried so loudly that her neighbors could hear her, but it was too late. She couldn't regain her husband's trust in her and ended up getting a divorce. Moreover, she was unable to win custody of her kids because she had no income. Her husband got the custody and she was left with nothing. She had to move back to her parents' home in the country. Now, she spends her days at her parents' home trying to recover from the divorce. The next story is called, What I Told My Friend Who Tried to Travel for Free. Hey, why haven't you put in any money for my travel fund savings? Excuse me? I've asked you to put in money for me every month since I'm short on cash. So I'm asking why my travel fund savings account has no money in it. Um, I never agreed to pay for you in the first place. What? The trip organizer just asked me for my money and I had none in my account. It was so embarrassing. I can't put aside $400 every month. 200 for me and 200 for you? Pfft, forget it. Are you telling me that you're broke even though you work? I only have enough for myself, not yours. Go to hell! Flaunting your money to a broke person like me? Ugh. Well, if you have financial problems, why don't you get a job? Um, hello? I'm a full-time housewife. I can't work. The reason why I don't have money is because of my unskilled husband who's at the bottom of the corporate pyramid. And why do I need to pay for your travel fund again? Because I don't have enough. You have enough money, so help me out here. I won't be able to go on the trip at this rate. Maybe you shouldn't travel when you're broke. What? How could you say that? Pay for me. Hi, I'm Maya. My mom friends and I are planning to go on a trip to Hawaii next year. We're all putting aside some money every month to save up for that trip. But my friend Nova hasn't been doing so for the last six months. She's trying to get me, the youngest in the group, to pay for her. But Nova is notorious for not paying back. I really don't want to get myself into trouble with her. A week later. You! I can't believe what you just did! What did I do? Trying to play dumb, huh? I've been kicked out from the Hawaii trip because of you! You didn't put in any money for my travel fund! Yeah, the trip organizer told me. She said that she had to take you off the list because she figured that you not putting in any money in the travel fund means you're not going. I never said I didn't want to go! I've been looking forward to eating loco moco! It's so cruel of you guys to just kick me out of the travel group like that! But that's because you haven't been keeping up with the travel fund. You were supposed to put in money for my fund! You did ask me to do that when we first came up with a plan to go to Hawaii, but I said no to you, then very clearly and strongly. It doesn't matter! I asked you to put in money, so you were supposed to follow my order! How could you betray me like that? How do you plan on paying me back? I'm not paying you anything. Screw you! Go put in all the money into my fund right now! What? Pay the trip organizer $2,000 for me. I won't be able to go on the trip unless you do that. I'm not paying for you. Excuse me? So you don't care if I'm there or not? It's your fault for not paying. It's your fault. Ugh, we're all responsible for coming up with our own money. I told you I'm a full-time housewife. I have no money. Um, I'm going to bed now. I have to work tomorrow. Good night. What? It's just past 6 p.m. You're going to bed already? Are you crazy? A few days later. Maya, I really, really, really want to go on that Hawaii trip. Well, pay then. And no, I won't help you. I think they'll still accept your payment if you pay now. You know, I really thought long and hard about how I can make this trip happen so that I can eat loco moco without putting any money in the travel fund. Um, you probably should have thought long and hard about which job you should get to save up for the trip instead. Bite me! Don't interrupt me! Alright. And I've come up with this awesome plan. I should just go to Hawaii using the money that you guys have been saving up diligently. Huh? I don't think I follow you. It'd be a lot easier and quicker for me to just use that money instead of getting a new job to save up for the trip or to blackmail you to transfer the money into my fund. Oh my god, you're that desperate, huh? I wanted to blackmail you, but our husbands don't work in the same company, and my husband's not the boss of your husband either, so I couldn't really take advantage of anything. Okay. How did I not see this? The best idea was right there in front of my eyes. You must think I'm a genius. Uh, no, I think you're crazy. 
Excuse me? How crazy are you to even come up with the idea to travel on other people's money? I can't believe someone actually does that, but I guess here you are. Wow. What the? Are you making fun of me? Not really. In any case, I don't think it'd be a good idea to let others know of your stupid plan. Why not? I like to showcase my creativity. Ugh. They'll just think you've gone completely crazy. They'll either lose their trust in you or stop being your friend. See? You are making fun of me. Screw you. I'm serious. I'll keep my mouth shut for now. Either you pay for the trip in one installment now or forget about it. No! They're both not acceptable. How could you make fun of my great idea? I'm going to tell other moms about you. After telling me that, Nova really went around and told other moms about her idea. Not surprisingly, all the moms became angry and criticized her, and Nova was kicked out of her travel group for good. Nova became furious and sent hundreds of stickers in our chat group, but of course, no one forgave her. On the day of the trip, You guys must be arriving soon. Don't you feel bad for kicking me out of your travel group? Everyone's been ignoring all my texts in the chat group too. <sighs> it's all your fault for not getting the money ready. We have no empathy for someone who is planning on using our money to travel. Fine, enjoy your stupid trip. I'll be expecting souvenirs. Okay, we'll bring back something delicious. Ha, got you. Did you really think I'd just stay home quietly? Huh? You can't get rid of me. I'm going to stuff myself with loco moco. What are you talking about, Nova? What I mean is, I did something crazy. Oh, I'm such a genius. Excuse me? I'm already here, in Hawaii. I know you have enough money from your travel fund. Hope you're ready to pay for my trip. Are you in Hawaii now, Nova? Well, that's unfortunate. We've changed our travel plans. We're going to eat steak in Guam. Huh? Don't lie to me like that. You saved up money so you can eat loco moco in Hawaii, right? That was the plan, but we changed our mind. How come? One person was actually concerned that you might actually show up in Hawaii and ruin our trip. Who the hell was that bitch? So I asked other moms about you, and there was this mom whose kid was in the same class as yours last year. She said that they had a similar plan and you just showed up at the airport on the day of the trip trying to tag along for free. That's because they kicked me out of their group for not saving up enough money. I decided to show up and I made them pay for my trip. But I know you guys are nice. You won't do anything like that to me, right? You know what they say, what happens once happens twice. That's why we changed our destination just in case. What? So are you saying that you're not in Hawaii right now? That is correct. How about your local moco? You're not going to eat that? Nope, we're getting steak instead. Oh, I can't wait. What? You've tricked me? No, we didn't. Yes, you did. No one told me that the destination changed from Hawaii to Guam. That's right. We decided that with people who kept up with the travel fund. And since you hadn't been doing that, there was no need for us to talk to you about it. Oh, go to hell. Fine, I'll come over to Guam now then. I'll eat all the steak in Guam. Can you afford to do that? I only had enough to get myself here, so you're paying for me. Use money from your travel fund. Huh? Pay for my flight from Hawaii to Guam and the taxi. Oh, and I'll make sure to charge you for the hotel and steak too. That's fine, but I won't pay for anything. I'll tell you my bank account info, so transfer the money. No. You better do what I say. I paid for your lunch the other day because you said you forgot your wallet. I was trying to be nice, but you didn't even thank me for it. So what? You do this every time, you know. Ask me to pay for you. And now this trip? What kind of person makes others pay for their trip? I don't have any money because I'm a full-time housewife. You have nothing to worry about because you have money. But I don't. You have to help people in need. Um, there are other moms who are full-time housewives too. Huh? Like the organizer of this trip. She's been doing everything she can to save up for this trip. Her husband makes a killing. Apparently, he works for the same company as your husband. He does? They probably work in different posts, so the salary might not be identical, but it shouldn't be that different. Being a full-time housewife is not an excuse. But I am really broke. And don't expect other people to pay for you just because you're broke. But, but I really wanted to go on this trip. I wanted to eat loco moco. It's not fair that you guys can go and I can't. Well, you're in Hawaii, all right? But I guess you don't have enough money to eat loco moco, so go home. No, I'm coming over to Guam to eat steak with you guys. All right, do whatever you want. Ha, huh, you should have agreed to me coming over to Guam from the start. I've asked the trip organizer to get in touch with your husband just now. What do you mean? 
We told him that you're in Hawaii with no money and that you need his help. What? I guess it'll take him a while, but help is on the way. I'm happy for you. All right, see you soon in Guam. Wait, I can't have my husband here. I used his savings to get here. He's going to yell at me. I apologize. Sorry. So please, stop my husband from coming here. I had a great time with the other moms enjoying our steak. On the other hand, Nora, who planned on using our money to enjoy her trip in Hawaii, had to be taken back home by her husband. Since this was actually her third time doing something like this, her husband got mad and divorced her. Nova, who never wanted to work, now has to spend all her time working in order to pay child support. 